Well, hello. Uh, this video for my regular subscribers is going to seem kind of weird. It's really for people that have the HP um, Business Inkjet 1100. And uh, this printer, along with um, others of its type, um, actually comes with a, a, a cartridge that has a chip inside it. And the chip says that this ink cartridge is expired. And so you may have a full cartridge, but you're going to have to go spend $35, $40 for another stupid cartridge because the dumb printer company is ripping you off and uh, tries to have this crazy idea that the ink could possibly go bad. Um, the other problem is I only print in black and white. I don't print in color. What do I need stupid color car ink cartridges for? Who cares if they're expired? I'm printing black. So they, they make it so that it prints with other colors too so it wears down your ink. It's a big scam. And all the printer companies do it. But uh, I've noticed that um, in researching this problem that HP... Uh, seems to be one of the worst. So I've actually uh, taken mine apart here and I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like and how to bypass completely the whole chip and everything. really only works if you print in black and white, um, but it, it works. So check it out. Here is the printer completely taken apart. It's in shambles right now. I actually got it so that it... Um... The hard part is there's uh, if you're on the top of the printer there's a screw here on the left side, and there's a screw here on the right side. Um, and you've got wires and junk everywhere. Uh, here's the what this is is the, the feeder tubes for the um, printer itself for the ink. I'm trying to brighten this up. This video is going to be pretty rough. I'm not going to edit it. Just, just going to throw it up there. Uh, print heads right here. You know pull that up, you take them out. Um, if you open that up, you can see there's lots of gook down there. It's pretty messy. Um, and you can't see it really that well, but I've got ink all over my hands. So it'll probably be days before it comes out. This is uh, alcohol I've been using to clean. I actually had some, for some reason, some ink spilled on the, um, the circuit board that is in here. Let me slow it down, really open it up for you. You can see right uh, here inside there is a circuit board this little red wire that's going up here feeds the um, it's right about right in here underneath the ink cartridges plug and that plugs into the chips uh, that are in these ink cartridges so my ink cartridges supposedly expired back in uh, sometime in 08 and uh, Ever since then, I've been having problems printing. Now, you see that this lead right here has been removed. This actually is to this entire circuit board telling the printer what's what. Now, if you unhook that and recycle everything, start over again, you will get two blinking lights, one on the left, one on the right, uh, on the front of your printer. But you can, as I'll demonstrate right now, um, if I can get to it, here we go, I'll just print something here, even without that connected, it will still print, it's printing right now, see, okay, Okay, so this is the kind of stuff I print. Nothing fancy. Stupid $200 printer. Good old HP. Ripping me off again. Not happy. I will not buy another HP. I've heard Canon is a little better. They all do the um, they all do the thing where it actually says you're out of ink at 25% of your ink. But some of them you can reload. And I'm just going to find me a printer that I can reload and uh, do that myself and uh, that's cheap after this one dies but since I've got this one fixed so that I can print um, well there you go now I'm going to show you the bottom side where this uh, this uh, circuit lead is and it's the part that says HP Business Inkjet 1100 okay see this is the part and if you pull this if you can pop this off you can get to this and you won't have to do any of what I did. It took me a while to find everything. I finally had to just totally disassemble it, which is a real chore, because these things are meant to be put together, not taken apart. Um, they're designed to just be snapped together on the factory floor 
and then hopefully um, you'll just buy another one instead of spending the money to send it in to get it fixed. So, um, you uh, let's see. You can see that there's at the very base where this little deal is, there's, um, there's a notch that you're going to have to either break or uh, pop loose. And there's one here and here and here um, and here. So it, is, it is a little tricky, but you can get it off. And if you don't really care cosmetically how it looks, just jam a big screwdriver in there and pop the sucker off. And it'll uh, be just fine. Um, so it works without this. As soon as I plug this in, um, there are some software fixes that uh, work a little bit. I think I've got some other issues going on besides just the chip. I think with the spillage of ink, I think there was a short somewhere and um, that that's possibly what's causing it. You see all the alcohol. I tried cleaning it off, even the circuit board. Um, and you're going to need, if you really want to get this into it, you're going to need some major tools. Uh, I don't even know these type of hex head uh, I don't have a set of these, and so I couldn't pop this off and just get to the circuit board and totally clean it down. So um, I'm just going with this option here. Just going to take it off and not let it print in color, which is actually really easy and nice and makes it simple. I only have to get one stupid ink cartridge now instead of the other three. Uh, or at least I can refill this one myself. So that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else you might need or run into with it. Uh, just if you can pop this off, uh, you're in business and you just pop that thing loose. You just want to print in black and white. The other thing is there are uh, some some hacks out there. You, you, there's, um, there's a code, and I'll try and put this in the description. There's some code that you can put in the uh, initialization file that will um, trick it as far as the expiration itself goes for the chip. But um, I did that. And um, it seemed to work for a little while, and it started doing this. So I'm not sure if they're related. But either way, um, this is a way to hack your HP printer and um, tell HP and their uh, extortionist mafia friend uh, companies down at the, the ink uh, manufacturers to, uh, to get lost. So I uh, hope this information helps.